Good morning, everyone. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all the students of Year 4. I'm your science teacher, Teacher Kogilawani. It is a great privilege for me to meet all of you through this video. Shall we start our lessons today? Today, our lessons is about light. Dear students, what do you know about light? When we use light, how light travels? Is it fast or is it slow? And what is the properties of light? To know all these, we should start our lessons today. Light Have you ever been at home when there was a big storm and your lights went out? Or have you been in a room and suddenly someone turned off the light? What happened? How did you feel? You may have felt confused because you couldn't see anything around you. Light is something we need and use all the time. When it's not there, we realize how much we need it. Light is a form of energy. We cannot feel light. We can only see it. Light comes from both natural and man-made sources. Our natural source of light is the sun. The sun is a huge ball of gas. It gives off a lot of energy in the forms of light and heat. Let us now see some man-made sources of light. These days, most people use electric lights. An electric light bulb is made of a wire that glows when a current flows through it. It gets very hot, but because it's in a bulb with very little oxygen, it can't get hot enough to catch fire. Neon lights are a different kind of light. They are used a lot for signs. They're made from a gas that glows when electricity passes through it. Laser lights are thin, powerful beams of light. They are made of only one color. Lasers can be focused on a very small spot. Also, the light from a laser can go a long distance without spreading out like other lights do. Do you know the light travels? The light appears to travel from the source of light. It moves in a straight line. There are many situations that shows light travels in a straight line around us. Take a look and observe the situations below. All the examples above shows that light travels in the straight line. Let us carry out an investigation to prove this. Light travels in straight lines. Place three cardboards upon one another. On the uppermost cardboard, draw diagonals. 
Make a hole with the help of a sharp pin at the point of intersection of diagonals through all the cardboards. Arrange the cardboard A, B and C in straight line along the edge of table. Towards the cardboard A, place a lighted candle such that flame of candle is at the same height as the hole in cardboard. Now, look from the side of cardboard C. You notice the candle flame is visible. Now change the position. Now displace the cardboard B sideways. Again, look from the side of cardboard C. You notice that candle flame is not visible. Why is candle flame not visible? It is because the light travels in straight lines. Thus, the light passing through the hole of cardboard A cannot bend and then pass through the holes of B and C. Let's do discussion on investigation. If a position of cardboard and candle flame are in the straight line, the light of the candle flame can be seen. If positions of cardboard and candle flame are displaced, the light of the candle flame cannot be seen. So, light from the candle flame travels in the straight line and cannot pass through the middle cut that block its path. Let's do summary of our lesson. We have learnt Light is a form of energy. Main source of light is sun. Light travels in a straight line. We are in these together and we will get through these together. Stay safe.